how many of us can still buy a home on one paycheck? The answer might shock you. G'day guys, it's Lena here from AA Finance Solutions. So how much do you need to afford a home in Australia? Back when the interest rate were lower at 1.99%, you could afford a $695,000 house in Kenningville with an income of just $82,000 a year. However, as interest rate have gone up, we will be exploring a few different scenarios with an average interest rate of 5.5% just to show you how much you can afford a house here in Western Australia. The best case scenario for a single income earner looking to buy a house in Kenningville with a median of a sale price of 695k and you have saved 20% deposit which means that you will have a loan size of 556,000. And based upon this figure, with an interest rate of 5.5% and factoring in your personal expenses, you will need a pre-taxable income of at least $105,000 per year to service a loan. So how about if you're married and have two kids? For the, for, for the best case scenario, if, again, if you've got 20% deposit and a loan size of $556,000, each parent will need to earn about $65,000 per year. Or if you're a single income, you need hundred and fifty dollars since the price of property has gone up due to the high demands and the low vacancy rate in rent, it is highly unlikely for a single person to purchase a property on their own based on the current market conditions unless the person is earning a high enough income to service a loan. However, some lenders would still lend up to the 95% of the purchase price and that's to purchase your owner occupied. And the government still continue to help first home buyers with a few grants such as the first home loan deposit scheme, first home super saver scheme, and obviously the first home owner grant as well. So speak to us today for a free consultation and I will see you guys again in the next week video.